thing is in Alabama, they take sports very, very serious. And when people get serious about wrestling, wrestling's going to get real good. Their attitude toward football spreads to everything. That's how Steve Gadosh felt when he arrived to Alabama from New York 34 years ago to coach wrestling at Vestavia Hills. This season will be his last, retiring as the state's all-time winningest high school wrestling coach. The middle school teacher is known to recruit a little during PE class. I remember him saying, hey, you know, if you don't make the basketball team, come out and wrestle. And I was thinking, why would I do that? And then I didn't make the basketball team, so I was like, okay, I'll go wrestle, sure. I need to do something anyways. 12 team state titles, nine team state runner-ups, 81 individual state champs. Those are Coach Gaydash's numbers, but not his legacy. Honestly, he wasn't worried about the state champs, in my opinion. Uh, I, I think he just wanted to do things right. Just the commitment and the passion that he brings, you know, just really, really makes you a better person. On Thursday, Coach Gaydash will coach his final dual meet at home against his own two-time state champ, his son, Jacob, head coach at rival high school, Hoover. Truthfully, I wish it wasn't against me. Um, I would like to be a spectator and enjoy the match and what he's done over his career, but I have a job to do that night and hopefully I can spoil his last uh, match of his career. But the Rebels say that just can't happen. You want him to win. Like he just, I feel like he deserves it. He does deserve it. I mean, it's his last thing. He's at home. He needs to go out with a W. It's the only way I would think him to go out with is with a win. The Hall of Famer took the program from wrestling in a cafeteria three decades ago to being recognized as a prominent program in the Southeast, beating out-of-state powerhouses like Brandon in Florida. When you talk about the sport of wrestling in Alabama, you talk about Steve Gadosh. He started the wrestling renaissance in Alabama, and his coaching tree just in the state has made a huge difference. I saw him talking to other wrestlers all the time. And when I was younger and in high school, I thought, why is he over there talking to the enemy, you know? But that was him. He was an ambassador for the state. So as the 2001 National Coach of the Year reflects on his time on the mat, he hopes the countless athletes he came in contact with remember one thing. Life is not all about you. It's what you accomplished working with other people, helping them improve, them helping you improve. Jen Chapman for WVUA 23 Sports.